Hi friends, today we will be solving questions on gear tray. Before solving, let us discuss some theory. So, what is a gear tray? When two or more gears are made to mesh with each other to transmit power from one shaft to another, such a combination is called a gear tray. So, there are four types of gear tray. Simple gear tray, compound gear tray, reverted gear tray, epicyclic gear tray. The method to solve questions related to all these types are same. Today, we will be solving a question related to epicyclic gear train. The question is, in an epicyclic gear train, an arm carries two gears A and B having 36 and 45 teeth respectively. If the arm rotates at 150 rpm in the anti-clockwise direction about the center of the gear A which is fixed, determine the speed of gear B. If gear A, instead of being fixed, makes 300 rpm in clockwise direction, what will be the speed of gear B? Uh, before solving the basic formula we need to keep in mind is the speed ratio that is n1 by n2 equal to t2 by t1 here n1 is the speed of gear 1 n2 is the speed of gear 2 t2 is the number of teeth on gear 2 and t1 is the number of teeth on gear 1 so the figure is given in the question the given data is ta is equal to 36 teeth tb is equal to 45 and nc is equal to 150 rpm before solving the question we need to decide a convention if it rotates in anti-clockwise direction, we have to consider it positive and if it rotates in clockwise direction, we have to consider, uh, we have to consider it negative. Now we will start drawing a table. The first step is to forget whatever is given in the question. We will start with an assumption that arm is fixed and A rotates at 1 revolution per second in anti-clockwise direction. That is this direction. So since the arm C is fixed, uh, NC equal to 0 and we have assumed that NA equal to plus 1 revolutions per second in anti-clockwise direction. Since it is rotating in anti-clockwise direction and the gear A and gear B are meshed, gear B will rotate in clockwise direction. So according to the formula of sp uh, speed ratio, Na by Nb is equal to Tb by Ta, therefore Nb equal to Ta by Tb. But as per the convention, as it rotates in, anti in clockwise direction, we have to consider it negative. So we will take Nb is equal to minus Ta by Tb. Now we will assume that arm is fixed and A rotates in x revolutions per second. So nc is equal to 0. We have to replace 1 with x. So n a equal to plus x and nb is equal to minus x ta by tb. Since, it, since according to the convention, uh, if it rotates in clockwise direction, we have to take it negative. Now we have to add y revolutions per second to all the elements that is plus y plus y plus y. So we will get the total motion as 0 plus y is equal to plus y x plus y equal to x plus y minus x ta by tb plus y is equal to y minus x into ta by tb there are two cases given in the question the first case is if the arm rotates at 150 rpm in anti-clockwise direction about the center of the gear a which is fixed determine the speed of gear b now according to the table the speed of arm c is plus y so we will take y is equal to 150 rpm now it is given that the gear a is fixed according to the table the speed of gear A is x plus y and since it is fixed the value will be z equal to 0 therefore x plus y is equal to 0 therefore x equal to minus y that is x equal to minus 150 rpm to find the speed of gear B according to the table nb is equal to y minus x into ta by tb now since we have the value of y x ta and tb we can get the speed of gear B by substituting these values that is equal to 150 plus 150 into 36 by, 40, uh, 36 by 45 equal to 270 rpm the second case is if the gear A instead of being fixed makes 300 rpm in the clockwise direction what will be the speed of gear B? Since the speed of gear A is 300 rpm in the clockwise direction and according to the convention clockwise means negative we will take Na equal to minus 300 and uh, this, is the uh, this is the speed of gear A and from the table the speed of gear A is x plus y therefore x plus y is equal to minus 300 implies x equal to minus 450. Now substituting the values of x, y and t and tb in this formula we will get the speed of gear b as 150 plus 450 into 36 by 45 that is 510 rpm.